Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, we're rolling! Oh, sorry. Yeah. No one saw that. We're safe. Yeah, we are. All right, guys and girls. Today we'll be talking about the tornado that hit Washington, D.C. during the War of 1812. Great job, Gabe, but I'll take it from there. The War of 1812 was a near downfall of the United States. Britain had entered D.C. and nearly burnt down all of Washington, and Dolly Madison, President Adams' wife, was only able to salvage a portrait of our first president and the Declaration of Independence. The British could have completely destroyed our capital, but a shining example of extreme luck saved the day. Three vicious tornadoes came down on Washington, D.C. At first, this seemed like good news for the British, but the tornado killed hundreds of their soldiers and got rid of the flames they had lit on the Capitol. The next day, American troops came back to Washington and killed more of their soldiers. Any soldier that could escape to Canada or back to Great Britain tried, but few succeeded. Canada had briefly been involved with the battle on the British side and surrendered soon after they heard about the, wash the loss at Washington. Britain itself signed a peace treaty a year later. Many politicians thought that Washington, D.C. was eternally destroyed, but after several years of harsh rebuilding, our nation's capital was saved. Statistics show that a tornado hitting Washington happens once every 20 years. A strong tornado has only hit once. The probability of this tornado hitting Washington on this day, under these circumstances, with this level of destruction is about one in a billion. If this infinitely near impossible savior hadn't happened, our great nation may be driving on the left side of the road drinking awful overtaxed tea this very day. I guess Dorothy should apologize. <sighs> These jokes are getting worse. Really? The Wizard of Oz? I know, but we are out of time. Wait, I've got nothing planned. We can talk more about tornadoes. Now we ain't. This is over, Gabe. 